What's up guys, my name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to do another leak code grind challenge. This one is merge two binary trees. So you're given two binary trees and you want to merge these two trees into one tree. The merge rule is that if two nodes overlap, you sum up the new va the new value is you sum up the two values of the the nodes, okay? So you just sum up the two values of the nodes if they overlap, right? Otherwise, Whichever node is not null would be the one of the new tree. So given this tree, this is one, this is the root one, two. We're gonna add up, because one and two overlap, we're gonna add these up, one, two, the new tree is gonna have three. Three and one, they're gonna add up the sum of three and one, that's gonna be four. Two and three is gonna be five. All right, all right. Now, we know that there's five, Five is here, but there's nothing, no five here, right? So it's just gonna add five to the new node, okay? And four is here, but there's not nothing, there's not nothing on this tree. So it just add takes four here, all right? So that's what they mean by whichever node is not null will be the one with the new tree. And seven is here, and there's nothing here on this right tree, on the right side here, on this right leaf. You see it? You see it? All right, there's nothing here. So we add seven here, okay? So that's basically how you would do it. All right, how, now how do you do this? Please take some time to figure out how you would do this. It sounds very difficult at first, but it, the solution to this is actually very easy, okay? I'll give you some time to do it. Take one to two hours. If you can't figure out in one to two hours, then come back to this video and I'll explain to, how to do it to you, okay? All right guys, so how do you do this? First of all, we need to check if t we need to return the whichever node that is not null would be the one for the new tree okay so how do you do that well if t1 is null that means we got to return t2 do you guys understand why think about it t1 is null we return t2 cuz t2 is the one that is not null right if one of them is null, if one of them is null, return the other one. That's basically what this means. Not null node would be the ones to use the new tree, right? All right. Now, what? Now we got to check if T two is null. T two is null. We return T one. Why? Because if T two is null, that means that if T two is null, T one must be the one that does not have anything there. Okay. At this point, once this condition hits here, T1 must be the one that has something inside that node, okay? So this is checking the other condition where T2 is null, we return T1. Because we're using, we're trying to return the node that is not null. The not null, null node would be the one that is the new node of the tree, okay? That's what we're doing. Now, hard part. We want to merge these two trees. So how do you do that? Well, you gotta call merge trees. How do you merge trees? You pass in the left. We gotta merge the left one, T1's left. And then we gotta merge T2's left. Okay, this is gonna call the same, this is a recursive method call, calling the same function again. We're gonna merge T1's left and T2's left. Now, what are we gonna do with that? We also have to merge T2's left, uh, T2's right, oh wait, no, bah, my bad. T1's right with T2's right. That's basically what it means. It means you're, you're, you are essentially merging whatever is left is going to be left. Whatever is right is going to be right. Now, now, now is the tricky part. How, wh which tree am I going to return though? You have to basically create a new tree and then set whatever the sum of these two added up and then set the left its left node to be the, the merged of t1 and t2 and the right node to be the the merge of t1 and t2 the right of merge of t1 t2 but what i'm going to do is i'm going to return t1 as the merged tree all right so i'm basically going to take t2 and merge it with t1 and i'm going to return t1 as a merged tree so how do I do that? I'm going to take T1's value, whoops, my bad, T1's value, and I'm going to add it with T2's value, 
Okay, this is gonna this is gonna sum up T1's value and T2's value. Okay. So then what am I gonna what am I gonna do? I'm gonna set T1's left is gonna now equal to the merge of T1 and T2, and T1's right whoops is gonna be the merge trees of T1's right and T2's right. Then I'm gonna return T1. My new merged tree. Let's run the code. Something's happened. What is the issue? The request of val is a pointer. Oh, okay. So it's a pointer, so we gotta use the arrow. And the solution is exactly the same thing as how I expected. We're going to submit it and it got accepted. So if you guys understand what I was doing is basically these two conditions just returned whichever node is no, if the first one's null, we return this, the second node, right? If the second node is null, we return the first node. So this is just ensures that whichever node we're returning is not the one that is null. Okay. Then I'm merging my second one, my second tree's value with my first tree's value, okay? By plus equals. This adds a value. After that, I recursively call, I merge T1's left, left node with T2's left tree, right? T, uh, T1's left tree with T2's left tree. Merge the left part, and I set that equal to my new left. My I merged the trees of T1's right tree with T2's right tree and set that to equal my new right side of my tree. Then I returned my new merge tree, okay? So that's basically what I did. If you have any questions, please shoot, uh, please like write it down on the comment section below. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. Peace.